Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. My guest today is Stacy Heine and her son, Cohen, and they're going to be making one of his recipes. And by the way, he's a toddler and his name is Cohen. And the recipe is from the sauce book that Stacy gave as her offering to the amazing Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle, now in its eighth day out of 10, where for a mere $4,900, you receive over $4,700 worth of content that most of it created exclusively for the bundle by your favorite plant-based chefs, influencers, doctors, athletes, and more. And you can verify this by going on their websites to see what I'm talking about, because a lot of the products sell for more than the price of the bundle. Plus, it includes a $10 off gift certificate to any Plant Strong product, but it's only going to be available for another 48 hours, never to be seen or heard from again. Please welcome to the show, Stacy and Cohen. Nice to see you guys. Hey, AJ. Thanks for having us on. We are super stoked to share from The Secret is in the Sauce. This is I smell sauce. you smell sauce. Well, that would make sense. We're about to make some sauce. Colin made this recipe up um, in a hotel room when we were traveling in Florida, right? And it's Cohen's sauce. It's called Cohen's sauce. And this sauce is ridiculously simple and so so easy, but it has some special things in the sauce that really make it. Absolutely good. So what is this going right here? Garlic. garlic, right? And it's roasted garlic, right? Yes. Roasted garlic. Cohen likes to eat this like candy. It's kind of hilarious. He'll pull the roasted garlic out of the refrigerator and eat it. Okay. So in my sauce book, we give people a heads up at the beginning of it, um, talking about some specific ingredients and some of them we're going to be using in tonight's sauce. And one of them is roasted garlic. As you can see here, I've got some unbleached parchment paper. This is actually elephant garlic from our farm. So it's gonna be even better than just regular garlic. Um, but roasting your garlic, roasting your onions um, can lend a new flavor to sauces um, and add a lot of depth. And so that is what we did here. And we're gonna, we're just gonna assemble the sauce and then we can chat because this is so easy. It's gonna take us barely any time. So we're gonna need four, four, uh, four or so, I say four or so, because for people who like garlic, they might not follow the recipe to a tea. They might add a lot more garlic like I do uh, for most recipes. So we're gonna need four garlic cloves and these elephant garlic cloves are so huge. <laughs> they count as like two or three garlic cloves. So we'll pop that into it. Yep. I find and that elephant garlic is often mellower than small it, cloves. It really is. It's so it's absolutely so delicious and I love elephant garlic. So if your local like gourmet rest or um, grocery store has elephant garlic, it's kind of, it's definitely seasonal. Make sure that you snag it because it's so, so good. Um, so we'll do that. We'll do maybe one more. Do you want to add one more? Or do you think that's enough? That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Koa knows best. Uh, then the next ingredient in this sauce is shallot and I just say to roughly chop it because we're just going to be popping it through the vitamins. Well, I get actually, you know what you can chop. I knew you'd want to chop. You can chop your bananas. Okay. With the bench scraper. Okay. You can get your own knife. Okay. So Cohen has his own knife. We are going to do shallot. Shallot is just like an onion. Um, but it's again, more mellow. Um, so I think shallots are really, really delicious in sauces. And I'm just gonna use one whole shallot and we're gonna pop that into the Vitamix. Again, you don't have to do anything too fancy with chopping it because we're just gonna blend this all together. Well, it might be in the dishwasher right here, buddy. Okay, it's right here. Here's your knife, you can chop the bananas. Just be really careful. Okay, the next ingredient is strained tomatoes. So you can buy jarred, whole tomatoes if you want to. I like strained tomatoes because it lends a smoother sauce. But again, we're popping this through the Vitamix. So regardless, if you just can find diced tomatoes in a can, you can do that as well. This is a pretty forgiving sauce. So we're just gonna put the whole container in 
calls for about three cups of strained tomatoes. And then we've got dried parsley. You can absolutely use fresh parsley. That's gonna for sure be more zippy and fresh tasting. Um, but I like the little flecks of green in that. I think it's just adds a fun, I think the dried parsley kind of does something for the sauce. And then we have two more ingredients in the sauce. And I'm telling you what, it's so easy. Sumac and white pepper. Okay. I love sumac. Cohen loves sumac. So why do you like sumac? Because it's yummy. Because it's yummy. He thinks it tastes salty. And since we don't add salt to our food, we use sumac a lot. Yep. And he uses what? it. You did a really good job at chopping those bananas, buddy. Do you want to eat any? Okay. Well, you can keep chopping. Just always tuck your fingers. Um, sumac is lemony and it adds so much flavor. I was just chatting with, um, Dr. Nikki Davis today on Instagram. We were talking about sumac and she was like, oh my gosh, I love sumac too. And I, we think that this is a very misunderrepresented spice and we need to add it to so many more things. So it calls for about a teaspoon of sumac and I'm just going to pop that in and then white pepper. I also, at the beginning of the secret of the, is in the sauce um, recipe, I, or, um, in the beginning of the book, I talk about white pepper. I like using white pepper, not just in sauces, but in like all of my cooking, not to replace black pepper, but to use it with black pepper. I think it just it tastes so good. And oftentimes it's used. Yeah, you can do that. You can put as much as you want in there. Um, but oftentimes it's used on seafood, but you can use it on beans and rice and it won't make your dish have black flecks in it if you're you know, looking for like the appeal factor. Um, but it's also, again, it's just more florally. And uh, I really, really love white pepper. So we use that all the time. And that's literally, <clears throat> woo, it's like blowing into my throat. That's kind of spicy. Um, that's literally the whole sauce. And all you have to do is zhuzh it up in the blender and it will be done. So I'm gonna do that. Well, we're gonna do that. Where, where do you get your sumac, Stacy? What? Where do you get your sumac? Well, I should say local spicery, but actually buy it in bulk on Amazon. I have to find the brand. The brand. Um, but I do know that they have like small shaker jars and a plastic. So if you look up on Amazon sumac, um, it has a small shaker jar and then you can buy like a bag of it. Um, Are we we're done, buddy. We're done. I do want to try burlap and barrel. Um, Ooh, yeah. I love their, a lot of their spices. And yeah, go ahead, try it, buddy. Try it, it's your sauce. I mean, you made it up. Is it so good? It's delicious. And the raw onion, makes it thick and it's just so good. It's such a simple sauce. It is delicious. I know, right? You can just eat it like soup. I mean, it's so good. It's done. That's it. That's Cohen's sauce. So let's talk more about the bundle and all the good things in it and what we would eat this sauce with. I made Kathy Fisher's veggie burgers today from her book of snacks. Mm -hmm. And these are delightful. They're actually made with kidney beans and brown rice. And she has a, she definitely has a knack for finding different flavors that taste so good. Mm -hmm. And she put a whole bunch of yummy spices in there. I, mean, so I know it's so good, isn't it? The sauce is so good. Yeah, I like this sauce. Cohen's <laughs> double dipping in this, in the Vitamix. And we're just going to go ahead and you like your sauce because you made it up. You really were clever with all of this. It was just yes. so, you were so good at it. The gar the roasted garlic really makes it and the, mm. it's just- and The roasted garlic. It's so good. So with this sauce, you can absolutely dip your favorite oven fried or you know oven baked French fries. You can put it on Kathy Fisher's burgers from the bundle. You can do, um, you can dip your roasted broccoli in it. Um, so, so many uses for this sauce. What else would you eat it with? Um, 
aside from on its own. Bananas, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't think that that would taste good. Um, what other sauces do you like from Mommy's book? Do you like our ketchup? The ketchup is delicious, AJ. It's sweetened with dates. Um, you know, we don't need to add sugar to make a ketchup. We can use dates instead. Um, yes, so at the beginning of the book, again, we go through specific ingredients. And uh, we talk about white pepper. We talk about miso and how you can use miso paste to make your food taste salty and you don't have to raise your blood pressure in case people are trying to get off salt. Um, I do give the option to add miso um, if they still need that salty flavor, but they don't wanna damage their blood vessels and they don't wanna raise their blood pressure. Um, and then we talk about sumac and we talk about date syrup. I make my date syrup, I call it a date syrup. Some people might call it date paste, um, but I use just one cup of warm water with 10 dates to make that. And that is uh, used in a lot of the sauce recipes in the ebook. Um, but yeah, I am so excited about this bundle. It's just been so fun collaborating with so many like-minded people. So I know, and the sauces are so good and the recipes are so good. We are just so happy. and. Can't wait to take like the classes and Andrew Mellon's course to get organized. He's going to be on my podcast tomorrow and we're talking about what we need to do to be organized. We're going to air that episode tomorrow, which we're really excited about. And um, yeah, it's just been so fun. That's amazing. Well, God, it's so cute how he loves the sauce so much. He really likes his sauce. I mean, he's very proud of it. You have a question for Chef AJ? Okay. And yeah, mommy has we have a prize for Cohen because he's coming on Chef AJ. He's very excited. So we'll, we'll reveal the prize tomorrow. You guys will know what it is if you follow me on Facebook. It's kind of a big surprise. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. Wow. I can't wait. Well, I think Cohen was on the show briefly last time where you were on. He probably was. He, yeah, he did. He was. And then Kyle removed him out of the video. He's a great sous chef. You know, I encourage people to get in the kitchen with their kids. Um, if they're afraid of using knives, I wanted to give you one tip. Um, get yourself a bench scraper. Get yourself a bench scraper. Um, they make plastic ones if you're afraid of your child having, you know, uh, sharp things. But this really isn't sharp. I got this from Sur La Table. This is a, um, a metal stainless steel bench scraper that most chefs use to, you know, scrape the actual like cutting board. Um, I used to use this in bakeries because I, I worked in bakeries and um, I like to scoop up chopped onions and pop them into the blender that way. You know, it's just an easy way to clean up. And uh, this is a really easy way to let kids start chopping, give them bananas, give them soft foods that they can utilize and get their knife skills going and let them add flavors to their food. They're so much more likely to eat the food if you let them in the kitchen to cook. So um, that is my biggest tip. We started doing this when Cohen was like two and now he eats and explores all the different flavors. So that's my big tip for the parents out there that want their, that they want their kids to eat more plants. Just let them put the plants in the food, right? And experiment with different flavors. Did you have a plant-based pregnancy? Oh yes. Full, fully, fully plant-based. I've been totally plant-based for a decade. I ate a lot of seaweed. I, it was very weird. I, I, um, yeah, I craved a lot of seaweed. It was probably the iron, but it was, up. Uh, I mean, it was a great pregnancy and I thrived through the whole thing. So. Wow. That's amazing. What are, what are Cohen's favorite foods other than the sauces that he creates? Cohen, what are your favorite foods? Um, my favorite date date stuff oh can you hear me now my washer just went off you could probably hear me a lot better now um dates are cohen's favorite foods um he used to love nut butters a lot not so much anymore you love beans cohen loves beans and he really likes the bean juice which i think is a little bit weird but it's kind of like pot liquor i mean right it's kind of like 
<laughs> he's drinking the minerals of the bean broth that we that we make the beans in the instant pot. So he loves doing he loves beans. I get this. Much. Yeah, you do. You get dates. He loves dates. He gets them in his Christmas stocking every year. It's very special. He gets the ones we we order them from California and he gets special dates. So that's like his favorite. He really, really loves dates. You love mango. Mango. Um, do you like broccoli or cauliflower better? Yeah, he goes for cauliflower most of the time. Um, it's just so inspiring to see him eat so healthy. Uh, Rebecca wants to know how old he is. He's four and a half. So he'll be five. And James says, I agree, getting kids to the counter. Yes, for sure. It makes a massive difference. And um, again, if you let them decide on, like, give them five different spices, you know, put them out in front of them and say, which one do you want? And maybe they'll pick one or two and they'll eat the food. Um, he loves kaboka squash too. That's, is that your favorite squash? Do you like spaghetti or kaboka better? Kaboka. Yeah. He's a big fan of kaboka. Um, which sweet potato is your favorite? The purple, the white, the, the Japanese. The Japanese. Yeah. Japanese. We have Japanese up here behind us. He loves Japanese the best. Um, I just, it's just life changing and life transformative. If you let your kids cook and, and decide on what they're going to eat. And especially if, if, you know, instead of giving them an option, like, do you want the peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Or do you want the broccoli? Ask them, do you want the broccoli or do you want the cauliflower? Because both are really awesome choices, right? Uh, but they still, they get to decide and that really empowers them in the kitchen. Or do you want the kaboka squash or do you want the spaghetti squash, right? So it's just, um, it's, a, it's fun and they will like their food if they get to choose. Yeah, it's same thing with clothes, right? For sure. Oh yeah. You, you, you make the best outfits up, buddy. Um, and with sauces, I think that that's another, that's really why I made this sauce uh, book, AJ, because first off, I think it's hard enough for adults to, to stick with a whole food plant-based lifestyle, unless it tastes good. And if we can add really good, delicious sauces to our beans, our rice, our legumes, uh, I already said that our, our beans, our rice, our, uh, our sprouts, our, you know, fresh and roasted, roasted vegetables, our fruits, um, you're much more likely to stick to this lifestyle. And if we can make it taste good, we're, we're all set to go. And if we can batch cook our starches, and if we can batch cut up our, our veggies and our fruits, and then have like three different sauces in our fridge at all times, we're going to be so much more successful. And it's same with kids. If your kids are not eating uh, their broccoli or their cauliflower, give them a sauce to dip it in, you know, make Cohen's sauce or make Heine 57. We have a Heine 57 sauce in the book. My last name is Heine. Of course, I couldn't use Heinz. We don't want to get in trouble. Um, so we made a Heine 57 and they can dip their veggies in that all day long. And it's absolutely delicious. I also put some dessert sauces in there, like caramel sauce that's made with dates and um, walnut butter. If you want to add the walnut butter, you can do that or whatever nut butter is your favorite. Um, they can dip their fruit in there, especially, you know, some kids don't even eat fruit. It's like 8% of the American population or the American population, their diet, it's 8% fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables, or at least less than 10% of their diet is fresh fruits and vegetables. And that is a major issue. So if we can find sauces that are going to make, that are going to make these foods more palatable for us, this is a really good bridge that we can, you know, use to adopt this lifestyle long-term. Yeah. There's a nice comment from Stacy. You're doing such a great job raising him whole food, plant-based SOS free. And James says, I could see a whole series with your son teaching recipes for kids. Well, that is kind of like what he wants to do. He wants to teach. And so we're going to, we're going to start doing that. Um, PCRM food for life, uh, program that I'm licensed in. They do have a few classes for kids. And, um, usually in the classes, I'll show a, a video of Dr. Barnard that he's talking, whatever it might be about cancer or about, you know, diabetes, et cetera. But there are no videos yet with, uh, for the kids courses or for the kids classes. So we have chatted a little bit with PCRM to see if maybe we could add some videos and maybe Cohen could be part of that. 
or um, some of our other food for life kids that have adopted this way of eating um, to help inspire parents to, you know, help their kids eat this way. And then they could do this as the family, you know, as the whole family. So um, yeah, once Cohen gets a little bit better with his knife skills, we'll probably be cooking a lot more. People really enjoy um, seeing him eat plants <laughs> and yeah, he, um, enjoy them. It's really inspiring for people. That is adorable. Yeah, it, yeah, he, he, he could he could actually teach the kids. Yes, We're, we have a dream of having a kids camp. Um, I put that out there to the universe just a few days ago. So, but that's his work. Yeah. yeah, that's his ball net. Our neighbor is picking up his golf balls. balls. Okay. Um, out of the water. Out of the water. Side note. Um, but yeah, we're hoping to have a kid's camp that we can do totally whole food plant-based, you know, like nice cream and all the things. And um, we really, really hope to do that here in humble Indiana. Well, why not? Any other plant, I know. Any other plant eaters in Indiana? There are a few. There is, there, there is, um, there are a few people. We do have some communities. We have a raw community in Indiana. Um, and we have a lot of vegans in Indiana. Okay, go ahead. You're, you're free. You're dismissed. You can go. Um, we have a lot of vegan groups in Indiana, but we'll do your surprise after Chef AJ show. Yeah. Um, I know you're so excited. Uh, but it's a lot of junk food vegan. So um, I'm trying to pave the way and move, change and move that. And we've made a lot of progress with that. And there are, there are people, you know, and like the food for life community is really awesome too. And um, there's like plant pods. I've been thinking about maybe creating a plant pod. Um, I don't know a lot about them, but I, I feel like we need one here in central Indiana because there's, there's just not a lot of there's not a lot of places to go um, to eat that are actually healthy. And um, we just, you know, every day we'll just raise our voice and keep sharing this important information. Well, thank you so much for what you do. You're going to be coming on, uh, is it next week? I know, or is next week? It's next week, AJ. We're coming on and we're doing makeup. We're, we're going to do some beauty them. stuff because uh, I love makeup. I don't wear too much anymore, but I still love it and appreciate it. And you do yours beautifully. And you're going to give us some tips and tricks on some, I'm assuming, cruelty-free products. Absolutely. Everything we're going to be using is cruelty-free and eco-friendly, which I'll be talking more about. But and, um, vegan. and vegan too, right? And vegan. And we talk about... Yes, everything, everything that we'll be using is vegan, totally vegan. Um, you know, and that's just like a part of the lifestyle of, of the vegan lifestyle. You know, we want to be as eco-friendly as possible. We want to be as sustainable as possible. We want to try to reduce our toxins. We'll talk all about that. I'm super excited about that. But right now, people need to get the bundle. So if they haven't gotten the bundle, they need to do that because we only have 48 hours left for this bundle. You're going to get so many incredible things. You're going to learn how to get organized. You're going to learn how to do yoga. I took, what is it, Elise? Elise Jones, Dr. Clapper's yeah. wife does it. I took beautiful. Elise Jones restorative yoga. Cohen did the entire hour with me. I have had struggles up until this point of him sticking with me doing yoga. He listened to her and he did every move of Elise's class. And she is just so good at explaining. It was super slow and easy, but a beautiful practice that she offered in this bundle alongside all of the time sensitive classes, which I can't wait to do. I'm gonna take your, your class, which is on March 20th, right? Like you have a class that you're teaching and then Jessica Krant um, for skin health from the inside out. Um, there's so many things to get in this bundle, including amazing sauce books, not just my sauce book, but Lissa from Raw Food Romance has a sauce book. And um, there's another gal that I haven't even been able to read yet because there's so many offerings. I am just like ex so excited about this bundle. It's going to be awesome. Great. A couple of questions just arrived yeah. in the chat and some comments as well. We have, I saw a nice comment. Uh, a fellow, Rebecca says, fellow Hoosier here. Stacy's message is rare and is part of the country. So it's really nice to have a fellow whole food plant-based 
foodie. Annette says, what is a plant pod? You know, I only know about plant pods because of the it is my, it is my, Sorry, Cohen's excited over here. It is my box on the phone. No, it's not a box. We'll tell you about your secret in just a minute, okay? I'll tell you about your surprise. It it's not a package. I'll tell you about it in a, in a minute. Um, Brittany Girodi actually introduced me to plant pods and she told me, she told us during a, a video that she was doing that she created uh, like plant pods where she lives, um, which are communities of people that want to go plant-based, but you know, mainly for their health. Uh, and that, so I need to ask her, I need to pick her brain about that. She's going to be up on my podcast soon as well. So for those people who want to learn about some of the people that are in this bundle, including you, Chef AJ, um, you were on my podcast, which is so exciting. Um, they need to listen so that they can get plugged in with these communities if, you know, and get more support. Uh, but she started plant pods in Pittsburgh. And um, so I'm going to ask her how maybe I could do one here in Indy. That's cool. And here's a question from, I'm going to find that question, but first I want to read a nice comment by Miss Sunrise. It's truly one of the best bundles I've purchased. It even included stuff I wanted to purchase on its own before. That's what people are saying, like Chef Bravo's program, well worth it, blown away by the quality content. If we ever have a website with, uh, with endorsements, we would definitely use yours. Thank you for very, for saying that. And Sherry wants to know, did you ever have issues with your weight? No, no, I have never had issues with my weight, but I have had issues being incredibly addicted to processed food and fast food. So, um, I never reached the point of being overweight. So the reason why I went plant-based was actually, uh, originally for the animals, then it was for the environment. And now it is for long-term health because I now know the science. And, um, so it was about 12 years ago that I saw a documentary, everything changed. And then I learned about the environment. And then about 10 years ago, I really started diving into the nutrition. Um, and now I just know so much that it's just, it's, I, I'm, I feel so empowered and I'm so thankful for all of the doctors like Dr. Campbell and Dr. McDougall and um, Dr. Furman and so many doctors that are part of this actual bundle. Um, and for you, Chef AJ, and for all of the doctors that you've had on your show, um, every single one of them have been a reiteration of why I share and why I coach people to transition to this way of living, um, whether it be that they're in my program for entrepreneurs or whether I'm working with them one-on-one, -on -one, um, this is an adoptable lifestyle that you can thrive on um, and it can help you get off of processed foods, which is one of the most powerful things that it's done for me. Um, if you are addicted to them and if you find yourself grabbing and wanting to go through fast food lines and stuff like that, um, this totally changed my life. And I, yeah, it's been a whole life transformation for me. All right. Well, thank you. So we'll see you actually in about 10 days. You're coming back on Wednesday, the 9th at I believe 11 o'clock at the regular time when we're going back down to a more sane one or two shows a week instead of four and five every day give the audience a rest they'll need some time to get through the bundle anyway for sure they will and we're going to be talking about something totally different than food but it's going to be really fun and it really matters to the environment and we're, we're going to be talking all about that so Great. Well, thank you so much, Stacey. And thanks all of you. And thank you, Cohen, of course, for making a guest appearance. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow, day nine of the 10-day Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle Experience. Remember, in 48 hours, you won't be able to get it. So why not get it right now and click on the link and Stacey will get the credit for the sale. And tomorrow we have four shows, 9 a.m., Vicki Vicki Brett Gack, and she has an amazing course in the bundle. 11 a.m., Dr. Nikki Davis. 1 p.m., we have Karen Dugan, St. Louis Vegan Girl, or Vegan St. Louis Girl, something like that. And 4 o'clock, we have Holly from the Vegan Gen. So finally, another fitness person. Thanks again, Stacy. Thanks, all of you. Get the bundle, and let's start 